welcomes you to the final part of onboarding, managing your rates and programs. If you manage your own rates and programs, remember RatePlug has two simple guidelines. One, you must have at least three products set up in the system. And two, you must update rates at least once every five business days. If you don't update your rates in five business days, your information will be suspended from all MLS displays that your agent has sent out. To update your rates, you'll, from your main page, want to follow View and Modify Rates. You'll then enter in the rates by price tier. When you click on the link, the view on the left will appear. To change your rate, you'll simply highlight the box and type in your new rate, or you can use the arrows to the right, and that will change your rate up or down by an A. When you've completed changing all your rates, you'll follow the button at the bottom that says Submit All Rates Update. On the right of that screen, you'll find a link that says Modify Program Criteria. When you follow that, it will open up the window that's on the right. Here, for each product, you can manage your maximum loan to values per price tier or turn off a price tier if it doesn't apply to that product. When you've made any changes, hit Save, and that will update our records. You can manage the price tiers to accommodate your company's guidelines. From your main dashboard, you'll follow the link that says Modified Loan Limits. To edit, we suggest that you start with the lowest dollar amount that your company will accept for a first mortgage and work your way down to the highest dollar amount that they'll accept. When you hit Save Changes, this will update those price tiers for all the products that you have set up in the system. Remember, you can go to your View and Modify Rates and follow the Modify Program Criteria link in order to turn off tiers that don't apply per product. RatePlug will have three initial products set up for you. You may add as many as you wish. We recommend anywhere from four to six. We also recommend that you add products that you quote the most often. So if you write a number of VA loans, then make sure that your VA products are added. If you write a number of ARMS, make sure those ARM programs are in there. Once you follow the link of Add a New Product, it will open up the window where you can select the program type that you want, either fixed, adjustable rate, balloon, or interest only. If it's a government product, please select the correct government header. We maintain all the monthly and upfront MI on all the government products and manage the county codes as well. We then ask that you name your program twice, once as a full program name and once with a short abbreviated name. That's just for different screens that a consumer will see. You'll want to select your amortization period and lock period, and when you hit continue, it will open up a window for you to enter in the rates per tier. When you hit save changes, remember you can follow that modify program criteria link to turn off tiers that don't apply and edit your maximum loan to values. Lastly, we'll want you to set your compliance fields. Here you'll be able to maintain your APR, disclaimers, and required logoing. To cal calculate your APR properly, our system needs you to provide your APR fees. You'll follow the link that says click here to modify, and it will open up a worksheet for you. 
Please be sure to enter only those items that affect your APR. If you noticed, nowhere in our system do we tell consumers their cost to close. So this worksheet will be strictly for your APR calculation. If you're not sure what goes into your APR, you might want to check with your marketing or compliance team. Next, you'll want to add your own disclaimer. Our generic disclaimer says rates can change at any time due to changing market conditions, and rates may vary based on credit score, down payment, and documentation. Please remember to add anything that's required by your company. Then you'll be able to add the logo options, such as your FDIC or Fair Housing logos. Simply check it if you need it, uncheck it if you don't. Once you hit Save Changes, that will update all your records. Once you've completed the setup of rates and programs, your account will be ready to be activated. Congratulations. Now that you've completed onboarding, please verify that your rates and programs are completed properly and that remember to add your agents. Thank you for joining RatePlug. We do look forward to working with you.